Okay, let's talk about the HTC Desire. Yes, the really cool phone that I really love. There it is. Yes, I might sound like Ashens right now, but I don't care. Okay, the size of the phone is two and a half inches or six centimeters wide, and it is about eleven and a half centimeters long, which is like four and a quarter inches. And well, the depth. All right, I'll measure it. Just about, just over a centimeter and a bit. So it's like seven millimeters or something like that, which is that much. <laughs> anyway, I've sort of set the background so that it's normal, so you, you know you don't get confused when you buy the phone. Ignore the apps that I've got in there right now. It sort of makes it easier. I got yeah. Um, it's really easy to set up the Wi-Fi if I go like that. I've got a few apps, so just ignore those. Uh, settings. I was just looking at settings, so I don't know why I've scrolled up. There it is. And wireless networks. And I see it's got airplane mode, Wi Fi settings, Bluetooth, VPN, mobile network, and mobile networks. Obvious reasons. If you don't know what they are, then you don't deserve this phone. Okay. Uh, so you can switch on Wi Fi like that. <clears throat> Providing you've set it up, I'll show you that stuff. Let's see. Let's turn it back off. Okay, Wi-Fi settings. Uh, yes, I need to find it. <laughs> there we go. It's found the O2 wireless. The built one was found like, I oh, know. Yeah, they're not in range. Okay, I'm connected to this one, but you know it's that simple. You just click on it and then you type in the wet. The web key. No, don't forget it. Stupid. Okay. So, you know, to make life easier, I have. Wait for it to focus. Hello? Woo! Focus! Yeah, it's doing really well. Anyway, this one here says Wi Fi, toggle Wi Fi, which means I can turn it on and off really easily. And I have a Wi-Fi analyzer which I had to download, which tells me yes, your signal is good to your Wi-Fi. Ooh, like that. Okay, other crap. Oh, so like synchronizing. Let's see. We've got emails there. Yeah, it just comes up like that. And then my text messages. Yeah. What else we got? Contacts. I don't feel that in at the moment. Uh, news. I don't have any uh, RSS in there. And this is sort of much, pretty much a blank one where you just hold your finger on the screen. Why is it not working? <laughs> so I'm doing it today. Hold your finger on the screen. Widget programs. Uh, like for instance, you know, click widget. Click widget. Come on. Make me look bad. Okay. And I can add a Facebook or footprint, which is like where you take photograph and it logs you along the lat and stuff like that. And I've got loads of other junk in here. Uh, even scanner radios. And let's see if this works today. The, the scanner radio is always constantly sort of. Yeah, yeah, go away. Yeah, well, anyway. That's how you add them. Let's add something else. <clears throat> Widget. Let's scroll through. Twitter. No, I don't have Twitter. Let's do YouTube. Like that. So you need to sort of move it around. <laughs> oh my god, man, it's Ray William Johnson. No way, dude. Trolling. Uh, yeah. You can't really see that, can you? But yeah, now it's changed to the security guard file. If we click on it, and you can watch it. Right. You don't need to watch it. Shut up. Okay, let's get rid of that. And you hold it like that, and you go to remove. Okay. So, setting up emails, whoops, I just clicked on the clock, which brings up the clock details, which is handy unless you slip. Okay, emails, uh, settings, settings, you go to accounts and sync. Okay, background data, yes, auto sync, yes, set up for Facebook, Google, stocks, I didn't set that up. Stocks and weather sort of come like that anyway. Google, you only need to do if you want to make apps. Facebook is obvious, add account. And you can do Facebook, Flickr, Google, Twitter. I think that's it on the moment. I think you can add other stuff. Um, where's the email one? Gone. I'm looking for it. I haven't really thought about what I'm going to say, so it could sound really weird. 
But yeah, anyway. Well, it's not in there either. But yeah, it's easy because I mean, I did it in like 10 seconds when I first had the phone. Just shove your uh, username and password in, and obviously I hadn't downloaded any apps at the time, so I knew that it was not a virus or nothing like that. Um, let's see. Most of the apps I've got are free. Well, actually, 100% of the apps that I've downloaded are free. Probably won't be that fun to you, but I find them hilarious. I'm just going to show you one now, which is the air horn. Which goes... Whoops. Oh, yeah, I know. It's geeky of me. Anyway. Um, settings is easy. I'm going to set it back to my Omicron Per CI8 screensaver, which Biff should be like, Oh my god, dude! Yeah, but I've had to download that from the live wallpapers. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll show the market. Okay, Wi-Fi's on. Market button there. It takes you straight to the website. And there we go. And you search apps and games and updates to any apps you install or games you install. Right, so we click apps for now. Click all applications. And there's top paid there. Let's see, top paid, top free and just in. Normally I have top free because I'm a cheap bugger, but sometimes I like to have just in. Oops, it's because I clicked this bit by accident. I say clicked, but you know what I mean. And yes, I've got some really, uh, yeah. Yeah, loads of apps. If you go to top three, there's it's not like one or two. There's tons, you know, when it loads. Tons and tons and tons. Even MSN, look, ooh, guitars, yeah. I'll show you that in a minute. I have that app. But there's just thousands, like the BBC News and the Tweetcast and all that crap. I even have a sort of version of iPlay on it, so I can watch telly. But it's best to have Wi Fi on for that because it, like, really, really sends a lot of data over the, yeah, the connection. Okay, um, okay people is obvious now if you do if you add people after you put your phone in you get pictures from Facebook that actually come on there see it's only one person I've added after I've had the phone so it only shows one person um, cameras easy cameras camera hello Looks he's five megapixel. We probably can't see it that well on here, but what's that? Oh yeah. And you can obviously I can do face tracking, but as there's no face it won't work, but you can sort of move your finger around when the face is there. No, don't take a picture. Okay, good. Um what else? Messaging, as I say, is easy. It looks really nice. Okay, let's pick person Stefan. Stefan's the no flint. Okay, so it comes up like this. Different days by like the black line there. And it's just like you know, like a chat box really. And you can reply, you, you know, type whatever you like. And don't think that the keys are that small because you can just hold it that way as well. And the keys go really big. Like that, if you've got like fat fingers, whereas I'm alright. <laughs> and let's close whoops. No, don't do settings, but yeah, keyboard types, keyboard language, text input, tutorial, and use a dictionary, but yeah, who needs to play with those? Back, yep, whoops, yes, other people, and it just shows them all like that, yeah. Don't think there's anything else, I don't tend to connect to my um, O2 wireless network thing, you know, um, not wireless network, what am I thinking of? Yeah, that, what you're trying to say there, yeah. Um, my £5 a month thing, I don't bother with that, because after you use up your 5 quid, you've got to pay, like, a, a shitload, you know. So don't bother that, unless I'm really far away from a computer. Okay, a couple of games.